Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the conditional formatting expression is option to color your notes field red if it starts with an asterisk. So if you just got normal notes, it'll look yellow like that. But if you put an asterisk at the front of it, it'll look red like that. So you don't miss important stuff. Today's question comes from Gary in Portland, Oregon, one of my gold members. Gary says, we store a lot of different things in our customer notes field. However, if something is critically important, is there a way to make that notes field turn red or something so my reps don't miss it? Yes, Gary, this is a trick that I've done myself in my personal database for years. If something's really important and you, 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 you want to make sure your reps don't miss it when they go to that customer's account, have it turn red. You can even make it flash if you want to, but that's a different video. Let me show you what I mean. Here I opened up James Kirk's record, and it's just you know a normal note. But if I go to my record, oh, look at that. It turned red, so that's, you're guaranteed not to miss that. Now, and the way that I do it is I simply put an asterisk as the first character in that notes field. See? And if I put an asterisk there, it turns red. And we can do that with a little bit of conditional formatting, no programming whatsoever. Could you do it with a checkbox? Yeah, you could put a little checkbox over here if you want to. But then you got to add another field to your table. And it's easier to put a, put a little star there. All right, let me show you how I did that. First, if you've never done any conditional formatting before, go watch this video first. You've got to understand what conditional formatting is and how to use it before I can show you what I'm going to show you today. And also go watch my strings function video. We're going to use the left string function to determine what that left one character is. So if you don't know any of these left, right, mid, all these things, all you really need is left for this example, but go watch this video too. These are free. They're on my website. They're on my YouTube channel. Go watch them and come on back. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can also grab a copy of this off my website if you want to as well. And in my customer form, I got this notes field. Okay, now, as you know, using regular conditional formatting, you can say things like if the family size is greater than five, make that field blue. If the credit limit is less than zero, make that field red. But how do you do it with just a part of that? We want to look at the left one character of that field and say if there's an asterisk there, then I want to color this thing red. So let's go to Design View. Now we're going to click on the Notes field, go to Format, and then Conditional Formatting. Okay, now, new rule. There's Field Value Is... Okay, and you got a bunch of options in here. Between, not between, equal to, greater than, less than. But there's no includes, right, is part of. They, they should add that, honestly. Microsoft, if you're listening, you know, put, like, is included in or something in here so you can have any part of a string instead of having to do what I'm showing you how to do now. All right, we have to use expression is. Now, expression is can be all kinds of different stuff. You can even base this on other fields if you want to. And I cover how to do that in my Access Expert 25 class and in the extended cut for the regular conditional formatting video. But I'm going to show you one trick right now. So we're going to come in here, and I'm going to say if the left one character of the notes field is equal to an asterisk, then apply this format. So I'm going to say left, and then parentheses, notes, comma, one, equals, and then in quotes, the asterisk. And I can't zoom in. I, actually, I could zoom in here with my recording software. There you go. The, the Shift F2 zoom in doesn't work in this. All right, the left notes one. If that's equal to an asterisk, then we're going to apply the format. What format? Oh, let's make the background red and make the foreground white. And then I'll hit OK. And then I'll hit OK again. No, take a look at what that looks like right there, by the way. Just put it in the back of your brain. Hit OK again. All right. Save it. Let's close it. Open it back up again. Put an asterisk there. Hit Tab. And nothing's happening. What's going on? Why isn't it working? All right. This comes up a lot. And I leave this mistake in here intentionally because I make this mistake still after using Access for almost 30 years. I still goof this one up every now and then. Go back into your conditional formatting. And take a look at exactly what happened here. Let me zoom in again so you can see it. Do you see it? Do you see what happened? Access is trying to be helpful, and it put notes inside of quotation marks. So that turns that into the string notes, right? We don't want that. We want the field notes, the field value. So we got to put that inside of square brackets. I know in my Access Beginner 1 class, 
I teach you that as long as you don't have spaces in your field names, you don't need those brackets. That's true 90% of the time. I'm going to say maybe 90, 98% of the time. But once in a while, especially here in conditional formatting, and I hate this, Access will treat that as a string and put quotes around it. So let's edit that rule, double click on it, and change that to notes inside of square brackets. It's one of the rare times you actually have to use the square brackets if you don't have spaces in your field names. All right, hit OK, hit OK, save it, close it. Let's open her up again. And ah, there it is, voila. See, ah, isn't that much nicer? Uh-huh. All right, go to somebody else. Go back. All right, perfect. Now it's working. Okay, the left one character, and you can make that whatever character you want. doesn't have to be an asterisk. All right, it could be, you know, whatever. You can make it two characters if you want. You can have it search for something inside the entire string using the in string function that I mentioned earlier. Again, I cover that in my string functions video. Go watch that for more information on in string. Now, if you want to learn a lot more about this conditional formatting, and especially this expression is, I cover more of it in my Access Expert Level 19 class. We cover conditional formatting, advanced conditional expressions, all kinds of stuff, right? Here's the, where is it? Where are we going at? Like down here, I, I cover that in string example, right? Okay, lots more with conditional formatting, data bars, all this stuff. I also cover a little bit more with the expressions in conditional formatting in the extended cut for the original conditional formatting video. So that's for the members. I talk about this in a little bit more detail. And as I mentioned earlier, you can also use conditional formatting for flashing text. I have a video for that. So if it's super urgent and you want it to flash red back and forth, go watch this video. And finally, if you want to learn a lot more about those string functions, right? I cover them in depth in Access Expert 25. Cover all the string functions, well, pretty much all of them, and we go into logical functions. This whole uh, group of classes, 25, 26, 27, it's all my comprehensive guide to access functions. I cover all the functions you could want. All right, there's the math functions, the type conversion functions. What else we got here? Date time functions. Is there tons of them. So that's why I recommend my full courses if you want to learn this stuff in depth and not just little pieces here and there, which is what the Fast Tips videos are for. So, Gary, there you go. I hope that answers your question, and I hope you learned something today. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are gonna keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. 
You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.